So I've been getting a lot of fuzz and buzz about how we, how is Chore Relief any different than the other home service industry? So I want to make a little quick explanation to some of you that never use those and some of you that are actually familiar with them. So you guys can decide for yourself what makes sense the most. So this is what Home Advisor, Thumbtack, and even Angie, right? So the way they operate is simple. As a customer, when you come here and you give them a request, what happened at this point, they take all of the information that you provide them and they monetize it. So they end up sending it to five, 10, 20 different contractors. And each of these contractors is paying them anywhere from 30 to $200 per lead. So they're banking in and that's where their job is done. They're not gonna help you negotiate. They're not gonna help you schedule and they sure as hell not gonna help you if there is any dispute or problem. And then what happened now, you as a customer, you came in, you've been promised that you're going to get an instant quote, turn out you're going to be getting quotes. And I use this, trust me, I've tried this before. Um, I received the first phone call two days later from one contractor. Now, that's most of them how they operate. There's the other category, uh, what I like to call them the resellers. So think of those like TaskRabbit, right? So you have the TaskRabbit or handy or some other app that you guys are probably familiar with most of these guys what they do is first and foremost I don't I'm not I'm not sure about you but I hate having to get into this attitude take it or leave it I'd like to have some sort of a control and especially if you're not fixing the problem that I'd like to be able to talk to the person that's going to fix the problem and hopefully I can get to a mutual agreement between me and that contract because most of these guys they're not the one doing fixing your toilets they're not the one sending you your house cleaner I mean, you know this, they're not, they're just basically middlemen, but they're middlemen with a very, very even use to, in these situations. So what happened is, again, you come to these platforms and these services and they dictate in prices for you. Oh yeah, it's going to cost you a hundred bucks. Oh yeah, it's going to be $59 per hour. But technically speaking, they're not doing the work, but they get to chase set the prices. Now to me, that's just fucked up big time. If I want to go and find the contractors, I'd like to make sure that him and I, we can come up to an agreement. So no thanks. Now the third solutions and options that out there is, now I want you to imagine this, right? So imagine this is a, a place where you come in as a customer with a request, right? And the cool thing about this platform, think about it, I'm not going to say anything and judge it. I'll let you judge it. So imagine you come in here, right? And this is what we do. You come to us and you tell us what you need when you need it. And obviously, the, what's your budget? Because we don't want you to waste your time talking to contractors that are going to charge you $500 for a 200 bucks job. And vice versa. We don't want to waste on a contractor driving it to your house that is most likely going to give you a high estimate. So to us, we have to be in the middle to solve both problems. The pros, sorry for my handwriting, and the clients. So what happened is this, when you post those requests, we do is we dispatch it and we don't have limitations of how many people we can send your job to. We can send it to five, we can send it to two, we can send it to 500, we can send it to a thousand. It depends on what do we see that actually the people we have in our community and workforce. And by the way, those guys that you, you that we dispatch, they are in your community. So they're familiar with your neighborhood. They probably live like a few blocks away from you. And we give them a chance, immediate access to your job detail. That happens instantly. As soon as you post a job, we dispatch it instantly. They get access to your information and then they decide for themselves if that's a job they can do, willing to take, and if the price you're offering is good or they can send a counter offer. So at this point right now, what's gonna happen is they're gonna send you bids. And guys, we've seen this happens over and over and over. Average jobs on our platform gets anywhere from seven to 12 bids in under 10 minutes. I mean, from, 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 from an industry standpoint, that's un, impossible and un, unheard of, but we managed to achieve that and we just getting started. Um, so you're getting all these bids back. Now keep in mind, the contractors actually look at your offer and uh, versus if you remember the second scenario with the resellers, most of the time these contractors, they set their profile and then just they leave it and then the platform things of, oh yeah, this guy, he's making himself available this week, this day, so I'll send him this job. No, for us, it's actually a real human being looking at your offer and decide for himself. Because guys, one of the elements that is unpredictable that you and I, we can all agree on is the human element. 
We can never predict that behavior, especially for when we're talking about someone's livelihood. Now, that's what happened. You as a client right now, so this is cool. We get all this information via one entry platform, so there's no text messaging, no emailing, no phone calls, like none of this gibberish bullshit. It all comes to your app. And right there, you're able to sort through all the bits, all of these bits. You get to read reviews and cool things about it. You can even start a conversation with the guy before even if you decide to hire him, just to make sure that you guys are on the same terms. And because we want to be end-to-end -end solution, so we also manage the process of transfer of funds from your credit card to your bank account. That's when we created also some sort of a level of protection for both of you guys, right? Remember, we are e we want to solve both problems, not focus on one side over the other. We want to be neutral and unbiased. With that being said, I want you to ask yourself right now, which one of the three different platforms that I share with you would you use? Comment below, let me know what you think. Until then, stay tuned for more amazing content coming in soon. Take care.